Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I have the second episode of my EA Sports Rugby 08 World League as Connock. In the first matchup we had a hard fought close two point victory against the Western Force and in episode two today we will be taking on Harlequins in Division 3 of the World League. Of course if you haven't played World League before in Rugby 08 you start off in the very bottom, all of the teams are mixed up around the world. You start off in Division 3 and your aim is to get into the Elite Division, which is right at the top with the best teams in. You've got recruitment, you've got all sorts that you can do, transfer windows. There's a lot here for a game that was so, so, so old now and it is still incredibly fun to play. So yeah, this is Episode 2. And of course, before we get into it, please do drop a like if you enjoy this content. Leave a comment down below, I get back to all of them. If you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel. I also have my YouTube membership still live for anyone who would like to support the channel with that little bit extra. You get lots of great fun emojis, you can chat on social media. Depending on the tier you go for, we could even play rugby games online together. So if that's something you would like to do, please check it out. Let's get into episode two against Harlequins. Um, starting XV. Let's have a little look. Nothing really to change here. Yeah, we're going to keep with the same team, I think. Like I said in the first episode, I'm not going to pretend to know a lot of these players for Connick. Recruitment is still blacked out, unfortunately. Opens 3rd of the 5th. What is the date now, though? To show how far away that is? Doesn't really. Trade history. Of course, nothing's happened yet. Uh, if we go to fixtures, actually, it should tell us the date. So, yeah, it won't be until... The 5th of the 3rd? Is this an American date, or...? Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll just see how it goes and go from there, really. So let's get into the next matchup. We've got Quinns. What kit should we go for? We are away. We'll go for the black one, I think. Let's get straight off to Harlequins versus Connock in episode two. Here we are, then. Home of Harlequins. Got the old... What is going on there? What have we got there? Some sort of glitch. You got Joe Marlowe, you got Uwe, Uwe Monye for Harlequins. Danny Kerr, Mike Brown, so a good, good team. Hopefully that glitch doesn't mess this game up for us. We'll do our best anyway to keep going. Connick backs it. Oh, look at that. There's going to be a humongous Mr. Blobby walking around the pitch. Not sure what has happened there, but we haven't got time to mess around. So we'll do our best with what we can do here with that player. I feel us blind away, blind away. Try and move our way up pitch. Michael Swift with the move. They have won the ball back. Humongous ball of a man. Up and under there. Yeah, I'm not sure about these kits. They are pretty similar. Duffy's going to go around the outside. It's great stuff from Duffy. Lovely offload. One more. Another one. Of course, like watching the Bristol Bears. We've got this humongous man who's clearly offside surely We're up to the halfway line I'm not sure who that is even trying to be lovely pass Troy Nathan We've still got the ball this is, we're starting the game well just like we did against Western Force pick up that ball ah oh, why are you sat there doing nothing Oh, and they've got the ball away. That is a great touch finder, to be fair. Great touch finder. Oh, dear God, this absolute 
beast of a man. How are we ever going to win them all when they've got a gigantic... Oh, what is that? What have they gone for there? I think our line speed and defence there really caught them out. Let's get rid of this. Holly Smith. Come on, let's win that back. Humongous up and under. This old, this is a bit of a kick clash, isn't it? it? Really is. Oh, lovely from Tao Sawa or whatever the name is. They have unfortunately won it back, and they're going for another up and under. They absolutely love it, don't they? Gavin Duffy. Let's get out wide. Oh God! Can't even see what's going on humongous ball of a man in the ruck Joe O'Connor one more lovely Fiona Fiona Carr are we off are we out of touch we're not but they've won the ball back Danny Kerr again another up and under can we catch that and take a quick one it's not letting us do anything hopefully it hasn't glitched out might well have not sure what's happening here. Thank God for that. Lovely. Ah, oh, great tackle there. I thought we had acres of time. Let's get down that blind side. Oh no! Matt Cairns has stolen it. I thought the offload was going straight to our player. Little set play on the go. You're not messing with us, boys. Get out right again. Oh, uh, knock on. Oh, we got a scrap. Who is this man? What has happened to his arms? We got robots on the pitch. We got fighting. What is going on? Glitches galore in this patch. We've got a man who's covered in chalk. Look at the state of this line out. Uh, scrum, sorry. Oh, lovely pass out. Lovely little dummy. Lovely offload. Hum oh, this humongous man smothering our players. Got to be in a charge for assault, let alone a game of rugby. No points on the board for anyone yet. Hugo Monnier, the BT commentator. Lovely tackle, and that's a knock on. We got the advantage, though. Let's get the ball out wide and see what we can do. Oh, lovely. I'm not sure what happened there. Nice bit of scrummaging. See what we can do. Oh, keep these in acres of space here. Have we got anyone with us? We have. One more. Car. Offloads galore. I thought that might have been our chance. Fortunately, they have turned it over. Oh, beauty. It's half time. They must have knocked it on. Great rush defence from us. <laughs> what a 40 minutes of rugby. Nil-nil, glitches, scraps, fights. A drink needed. Let's get straight into this second half. See what we can do. Gonna go for the, uh, let's go this side. Let's avoid that humongous Mr. Blobby. See what we can do this side. Putting Hugo Monnier under pressure instantly. Ah, oh, lovely tackle there from Nick Evans. Another good tackle, no chance of an offload. He's got no support. Michael Swift, get back quick. Thank you. That has got to be forward. 
Look forward to me. No support there, unfortunately. Nick Evans with another up and under. I absolutely love it. Gavin Duffy. Let's try and get it away quick. There seems to be a bit of space here. Tayoso. Got to be this time. Ah, oh, just needed that one. Oh, we've given it away as well. Chris Robshaw's won it back. Just needed that one more pass on the right. What's going on here? Forwards, Michael Swift, lovely. Surely this time, ah, just can't quite break round the sides. Another kick away this time to touch from Harlequins. Line out to Connock. Can hardly see what's going on here. Just going to pass out and quick. Keatley. One more. Troy back inside to Trevor Anus. Not really making up much ground there. Get the support in. Just get the ball out quick. Quick ball, quick ball. Let's get up to halfway. Again, quick ball. Troy Nathan straight into a humongous glitch. Lovely. Trevor Anus. See what we can do. Not a lot. Keatley breaks through. Lovely offload. But they have won the ball back. Can't turn the ball over, unfortunately. It's really hard to turn the ball over on this game. Which is good, really. It should be difficult. Not like rugby challenge. Bit of a set play. They've gone backwards. Good help defence and we have won the ball back. Let's get out wide. Oh, a lovely pass. Troy Nick. Huh? Ah, oh, it was forward. It didn't look forward to me. It just looked up and loopy. Disgusting scrum yet again. We've got Nick Evans looking for the touch finder, which he has got. 15 or so minutes to go. Scores. Well, we're still scoreless, unbelievably. Right, let's get away and see what we can do. Murphy. Oh, how have you lost the ball there, son? But don't worry, we've got it back. Or have we? Just about. Oh, what a pickup from Carr. We need to go out right, a uh, left. Sorry, seems to be space. Now we got the whole of this side of the pitch to aim at. Let's keep going. Let's get up to halfway. Keep the ten minutes to go. Still got the ball. We're not getting very far, though. To be honest, are we? Bernie Upton. Up to halfway. Keatley. Still just about got the ball. Lovely. Can we get some support this time? We can. They're going to win it back on. No, we've still got the ball. What's happened? Got ourselves a penalty. Oh dear. What do we do? We've got to, haven't we? We've got to have a kick at goal. <sighs> See what we can do. Wind. Slightly. Come on. Go on, bend right slightly. That is over. Come on, boys. Three point lead. Only a couple of minutes left on the clock. There's no way I was attempting to go for a try there. Ian Keaton, we just got to get rid of it upfield, haven't we? We don't want their. We don't want them to have territory. I mean, we could have kept the ball for a few seconds, I suppose. Dangerous tackle. 
penalty to Harlequins. Surely they are not going for goal. Nope, they're going for the quick tap. Humongous tackle. Come on. Oh, he's gone through. Nick Evans, great tackle. We've won the ball back. Get it out. Oh, there's no one there. Just get it out. Just get it out. Thunderous hit there. Connock are celebrating. Yet again, not many points, points on the board. But they have got another win. Glitches galore. But Connock are two wins out of two in this Division 3 of World League. So, such a close game. Not a lot to show for either side, to be fair. What do we got here? They dominated territory. We dominated possession, though. We'll certainly take that. Tournament Central. Result bonus, 97,500. Transfer points, 2,970,000. Salary, over 3 million. <clears throat> A transfer window has opened. You can make player transfers until 2nd of the 4th. Few people have been making transfers. Is there anyone we could see? These players have expressed interest in signing with your club. Anyone here jumping out? I'm just looking at the ratings, really. We've got a couple of 85s. An 87. Wonderberg. Flanker. Come back to that. 88. Zwacky. Number 8. Yes. Right, what have we got in the number 8 positions? A lot by the looks of it. Um, gonna have to get rid of a flanker, aren't we? 84. 88. 85. Let us get rid of John Muldoon. Lovely. So that's the first one in the bag. Let's have a look at backs. Any big boys here? Not really. Do we really need any more than that? We go back to our start in 15, 84, 83, 83. We can swap Macintosh now, can't we, for Luaki. Um, yeah, it's really only the forwards that were uh, 84, 88, 84, 85, 83, prop. No, I don't think anyone's... Should we bring in a prop? 85? No, I don't think so. No, we'll leave our transfer budget there. So we brought in Luaki at number 8. So that'll be an interesting first recruitment for us. But please do drop a like if you've enjoyed today's episode. Leave a comment down below. I get back to all of them. Were there any players there in the recruitment section that were jumping out at you? Leave a comment and let me know if I should sign them. In the next matchup, we're up against Leeds Carnegie. Um, oh, we'll just have a little quick look at the standards, because I don't think we did. Still there mid-table. What's that about? We've played two games now, haven't we? So why is it saying only one? Let's have a look at the fixtures. Force, yeah. What's happened to the Harlequins game then? Just disappeared. Okay, very, very strange that. I'll take a look at that as we head into the next episode. But please do drop a like, like I said. Leave a comment down below. Mull that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the virtual scrums.